what it is, what it be. It's your girl, so you see the queen of the So Real Crew, y'all, what it do. But if you ain't like, comment, and subscribe, then what you doing, boo? Period. Your girl is back with another, your girl is back with another, your girl is back with another freaking video. Now, y'all, before we get into this video, y'all already know I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with you one day and one for letting you know what your favorite crew is doing. And y'all, make sure y'all turn that post notification bell right there beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified when Sonya and So Real Crew post another freaking video. Now, y'all, I just had to do, I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a Paul, I'm a Sarah, I'm a Bill, I'm a just all them, you know. I'm just appalled about the situation, y'all. I don't know if a lot, well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, but some people may not have heard about the girl putting the Gorilla Glue in her hair. Um, y'all. But if you have not heard or have not seen any clips or watch, I'm gonna show a clip on how it all started. Watch this clip. But that let me know my hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not my choice. No. It's not my choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with a little got to be good free. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more Dr. Glue spray, so I used this Gorilla Glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Yo, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times, and it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair. So I'm going to tell y'all like this, if you ever, ever run out of got to be blue spray, don't ever, ever use this. Okay, now, now that y'all watch this clip, so let me tell you. Okay, what happened was, I guess this girl did a style in her hair, and she ran out of some got to be glue, which is what they use to, you know, uh, stick their lace fronts down, their wigs down, or whatever. She ran out of it. And she had some Gorilla Glue adhesive spray. So I'm still trying to put in my mind if she went and bought the adhesive spray or did she already have some around her house? Because if you had the time to go out and buy some Gorilla Glue, you could have bought some got to be glue unless the Gorilla Glue was cheaper. A Gorilla Spray was cheaper. I don't know. But I'm, I'm still still behooved that you thought that it was cool to put some Gorilla adhesive glue in your hair to hold your hair still. Now, out of all these products that we got, we got gel, we got spritz. You ain't have no spritz? I mean, I, okay, I know, I know that a lot of people don't like to use a lot of spritz because it will leave your hair white and it will, you know, kind of flick up. But, I mean, it still will hold your hair for the few days or the week that you want to um, have your hair not move. But I'm pretty sure you don't want your hair stuck to your head. So, not trying to be funny, but she wanted her hair not to move and to stay in one place, and that's what it's doing. Because I just don't understand what you could have been thinking about to put some Gorilla Glue adhesive spray in your hair. Now, it say, do not let it get in your eye, skin, clothes like that. Okay, so what made you think it was okay to put it on your head? I don't understand your hair. Your skin is a little tougher than your hair because if you know if you put a perm in your hair too long and you do like this, you ain't gonna have a hair. If you perm your, if you color your hair after you perm it with some permanent dye, when you do like this, you not gonna have no hair. So I'm trying to understand what was going through her mind to put some gorilla. Now out of all these commercials and out of all this stuff that you done heard about gorilla glue, how it sticks, how it holds, how it do all of this type of stuff, you felt like it was gonna be okay and cool to put it on your hair. And I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, now it had a slick, now it got a slick, but it wasn't the kind of slick that she wanted. Now, then she goes on and do a video on TikTok explaining to us now, explaining to us not to use, it'll be a bad idea to use it. You don't have to tell me that, cause I already know. I already know. But anyway, y'all. So, I'm gonna show y'all another clip of her, again, putting shampoo in her hair, saying that she had done washed her hair 
15 times. Look, 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 y'all, look. Look, you wipe it off and nothing happens. Like, this is the life that I'm living at this point. Like, this is the life that I guess I'm gonna have to live. <laughs> yeah. Still ain't moved. She even went to the to the extent to put shampoo and stuff on her hair in her video to show y'all that she wasn't lying. Like this right here is really it's sick. You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to think. Like what was what? I mean, was it that serious to have your hair slick that bad for you to, to go to the extent to put some gorilla? adhesive glue in your hair or on your head but anyway so i'm going to show y'all guys another clip where she went to um actually it got, it got to the point to where it's been a while it's been a month so and she still ain't been able to get this stuff out of her head her hair still ain't moved i'm sorry it's still fried down slide and laid to the side you know what i'm saying and not trying to be funny at all because i just think this is just i i mean i, I i'm just like trying to get somebody else's opinion about this situation because I, I just feel like something right there just didn't even make no sense to me like I don't understand but anyway so you it got to the point the way she I mean she was like in the comments doing everything that people was telling her to do she goes to the hospital and they put some acetone on her head Acetone. Now, I thought acetone was for your to remove fingernails. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. And maybe you can use it in your hair. Whatever. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But, yeah, so they put acetone in her hair. And it was, like, kind of burning her scalp or whatever. But it still, like, kind of softened. I guess you could say softened the glue or made it, like, a sticky type of situation. But it still ended up hard to make up. So, I'm just like, okay... I'm just like, oh my God, like, really? Like, and then you see people like, I mean, it's not, like I said, I'm not joking about it. And then you see people making videos about it. It's a, I mean, even though it's not harming her, I mean, I'm pretty sure she don't want her hair to stay like this forever. And you know what I'm saying? And so it's just that people like, and then people making jokes out of like, you see people like on Facebook or and, play, and things like that. Like some of y'all off in the gold slick my hair with a ponytail and then they hold up a bottle of Gorilla Glue. I'm gonna post a picture somewhere up here of the, the can of Gorilla Glue that she used. But anyway, y'all, but the real, point of, the real reason why I made this video is because I just want to get an understanding of what somebody could be thinking of to do something like that. And then on top of that, y'all, she wants to sue Gorilla. She wants to sue the company because she says that on the back of the can, it says do not get in your eye or on your skin, but it does not say that you can't use it on your hand. Now, I want y'all to comment down below. Do y'all think she got a case? Like, let me, let me say, don't get, don't get me wrong now, because these day and time, folks can sue for anything and win. Because I'm going to give y'all a prime example. It was this person. That somebody kept breaking in his house. Kept breaking in his house. And so he decided to set up booby traps. So, okay, so B, you want to keep coming up in here? I, I got a trick for you. Let me tell y'all. The person broke in the house again. I don't know if it was, it was if it was the same person that had been breaking in before. But this a person broke in. This person got caught in the trap. But got was able to get a loose. But was hurt. And was able to, you know, get her loose and, you know, leave the house before the person got there. This person sued. This person sued the man for getting hurt in his house. And he won for hundreds of thousands of dollars. How? Tell me how can somebody... I, I'm getting tired of my stuff being stole. I'm calling the police. Ain't nobody been there to find nothing or none of this kind of stuff. I set up a trap or something like that to try to help me catch who this is that keeps stealing my stuff. This person get hurt in my house and able to sue me because they got 
they got hurt in my house because they was in there unannounced, was not invited, was in there trying to get something that you ain't on, that you didn't help pay for. Now I got to pay you because you got hurt in my house because I want to catch you still. Huh? Please comment down below what you think about that. Because if I, somebody's stealing my stuff and then y'all ain't doing nothing, so I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to do my own thing. And I'm finna catch whoever this is keep coming in my sh. And you get hurt by coming in my house trying to steal my stuff and sue me because you got hurt in my house for trying to steal my stuff. Please help me understand. And then it was another scenario, another situation where you know how people sell things on Craigslist. How people sell stuff on Craigslist. And they, okay, this person was selling the phone or something on Craigslist. So you know how people be like, you know how stuff be going on. We're going to meet in the public place. So they decided to meet up. I don't know if I forgot whether it was Walgreens or CVS. But whatever it was, it was at one of those locations that they met up in. So the person ended up robbing the person and shooting the person for the iPhone. And guess what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see if y'all going to guess what I'm going to say. The person was able to sue the store for getting hurt in a parking lot. First of all, I'm trying to understand how are you going to sue Walgreens or CVS for getting hurt in your in a parking lot when they didn't even know your ass was out there. You decided to come to my place of business to do a trade or do a transaction. The transaction went wrong. You got hurt. Now you suing me because you got hurt on my property. The property that I didn't even know you was out there until somebody came in there and said, Oh, somebody just got shot. Somebody called police. See, that's what I'm saying. People can nowadays do stuff and can sue and will win. And, 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 and they won. Even though CBS or Walgreens didn't even know their ass was out there until they were laying out there with the police came. So that's what I'm saying. So comment down below if y'all think it is right for her to be able. I mean, she can do whatever, she, whatever her heart is. I'm pretty sure she can sue. But I feel like, do you think it's a case. Which now, like I said, nowadays, people can sue for anything and win. So, I I, I mean, it, it wouldn't even shock me that if she do sue and win, even though common sense would have told you not to put that in your head. But, again, y'all, like I said, and now they calling her the Gorilla Blue Girl. Like, I, 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 I'm just like, I'm just blown away. Because I'm like, you took upon yourself to go to your cam and go to the store wherever you went and got this can of adhesive spray. Spray it on your scalp. Now that you can't get it off your head, you want to sue the company because you chose to put it on your head. Y'all comment down below what y'all think about that. Do y'all think she should be able to sue since she took it upon herself to put it on her head? Even though she said that she's suing because the bottle did not say you can't put it on your hair. But y'all all know that Gorilla Glue, when you see commercials about gr Gorilla Glue, it's either for, for wood, bricks, boats, shoes, all type of stuff. Not humans. Not your hair, not your head, not your eyes, not your hands. If it say don't put it in your eye or on your skin, why would you put it on your head? But y'all comment down below if y'all feel the same way I feel. I feel like you put yourself in that situation. You put yourself in that predicament. You should not be able to sue because you made a dumb decision. You made a decision. You know, it was a bad one. You live and you learn. At least you able to live to at least, you know, let somebody else know that might have decided or might have thought about at one point doing it. Now they would know definitely not to do it. So, like I said, y'all, that's all I have for this video. Just comment down below what y'all think, if y'all think she should be able to sue or not, or what y'all think about the situation in general. So, this is the end of the video, and if you like this video, give it a fat thumbs up. Comment down below what y'all think about the situation, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone and everyone to let them know what your favorite crew is doing, and then y'all make sure y'all turn that post notification bell right there beside the subscribe button, so you'll be notified when something is so real. Woo! Post another freaking video, and remember, to put God first and everything else gonna fall in line. It is what it is and what it ain't it's gonna be. So real cool on my peace.